What is up everybody? Welcome back to Tech Decoded. Today we're going to be going over how to install an Algorand node with Funk. So let's start off by going to algorand.co and then going to click on get started and then run a node. So we'll follow the link to the ultimate node controller explore Funk. And then we're going to be led to the GitHub and we'll scroll down and we'll go to the releases page. So once we're on the releases page, we're going to be doing this for Windows. So we will select the 3.0.4 for Windows. In the future, this will change versions. So click download. And once that's downloaded, we could double click. It's going to say that it's protecting us, but we could ask for more info and run it anyways, since we know this is a trusted program. And we could allow it to make changes to our computer to install the node. So we could proceed with the installation, just press install. It shouldn't take too long. So once it's done, we could just press finish and it'll launch. So this is the web page that we will use to access the node. So let's go to manage and create the service. What this does is creates the uh, Algorand node itself on the machine. And now it is running. So the node does have to sync and luckily it does happen automatically. You will see a progress bar pop up in a few seconds. Just some quick things I want to go over. So make sure you change the sleep settings on the computer to never. So the node is always running and keep in mind that every time you open the funk program, that is going to check for updates on the node, but it does not update funk itself. In order to update, we have to go through the install process again, but it's really simple and it will not affect the node because that is a background process so it always be running so as we can see now the node is fully synced we have the green light here so next step is to link it to our wallet and start participating in consensus so let's begin with that process i'm going to show a screen recording of para wallet on my phone and we're going to connect our wallet with the connect button and it's going to pop up a qr code so let's go to our para wallet Go to scan QR and then scan the code that's shown on the screen. We are going to connect. This is a signing the transaction, the link. So we are now connected to Funk and then now we can participate in consensus. So what we do here is generate a participation key using the plus button. And this is going to auto populate. It's going to add a bunch of rounds and this is going to take some time too. So press generate. We'll wait here and it'll produce our key. And when, when we come back, it's gonna say that we are participating. As we can see now, we got the update that our key is generated, but the status is red. So let's go and register our key. We're gonna get a notification on Para Wallet. Let's go back to Para and let's sign this transaction. We can look at the details. It's a key registration transaction and we will confirm it. So we can see now that our account is online. As you can see, that was my balance. And these will update as time goes on. And we can see our online account here. And these are just parameters about our key. So you could be done here, but if you wanted to, you could go and enable telemetry. So after we hit enable telemetry, we could follow this link here to Nodely. And Nodely will track our node here, and we could just save this as a bookmark to access it easier in the future. So as of right now, this is kind of it for the node. Um, if anything else comes out, I would like to make more videos. I will also do a video for this on Mac and Linux. Um, me and the creator of Funk were discussing a certain way to do it on Linux, and I'll see about making a video. But for now, I appreciate it. Please remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will see you soon. Tech Decoded, signing out.